Hey friends, happy Sunday. Palm Sunday for some of you. Anyhow, today is day 10 of the Earth Month Stitch Along. And I've got something different to stitch with today. So some of you may know that I have been uh, purging my studio. Yes, I am getting ready for a big studio move and a big house move, everything else. So I've been purging, I've been cleaning, I've been putting stuff away. Hello. Um, and I have been, I discovered something that I am going to stitch with today. So some of you may remember, and if you've scrolled far back down into my feed, I have been working on a piece that I've been stitching with this. You know what these are? The young ones probably don't. Cassette tapes. Anyhow, there's a piece that I've been stitching. It's a very large piece, and I've been working on it for several years now. Um, and I've been stitching it with cassette tapes. Um, so this is one that I have used up all the tape into. Anyhow, I had to put that piece away because I don't have time to stitch on it now. It's going to rest for a little while before I get back to it. Thanks. Um, thanks, Debbie. Um, so, but I found a whole little stash of tape that I have cut off from ends that I, I've been saving it. So I decided that that's what I'm going to stitch with today. Um, so I pre-threaded a couple of needles and let me show you what I'm doing. Okay, so here is my piece of plastic. Here's my thimble, and here are my needles. So, not much. These are, you know, odds and ends. So I think I'm just going to, I think I'm just gonna do that running stitch because, you know, running stitch rules. And it's so simple, and I don't really have to think hard about it. And for today, it's just an experiment with cassette tape. That's all it is. I'm not even gonna tie an end on this. I'm just going to make sure I don't pull all of it out um, because I have done that. And actually from learning to hand stitch with it on this large piece that I've been working on this whole time, um, tying knots into it is makes it quite possible to rip it accidentally. Um, it's a little bit, it's pretty sturdy, but yet it's fragile at the same time. Um, and by the way, it also gets your hands dirty. Um, so some of it, whatever is on that tape rubs off on your fingertips. Um, I don't know if it's healthy or unhealthy. I have no knowledge of that. Uh, I make sure to not rub my eyes with it, and I make sure to um, to uh, wash my hands as soon as I'm done. Um, so I'm just going to push the needle through the whole way and pull the tape out. So it all looks all bunched up now, but hopefully I'll be able to pull the tape out from the needle and into the stitching. Yay, I did it. All right, so here's my first little piece of cassette tape. Here's my next one. Oh, I don't know if this needle is sharp enough, but we'll find out. Um, need a sharper needle for plastic. Oh, yeah, it's working. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt to stitch with, so I have to, uh, where I'm pushing the needle through the plastic, the Ziploc bag, I kind of got to hold next to it with my fingertip um, because this needle is not quite sharp enough. But I will persever persevere and stitch through this because that's the whole idea, is to persevere and keep going, right? That's what Earth Month is all about. Um, yeah, cassette tape is great. <laughs> if you're still listening to it, but if you're no longer listening to it, like me, then uh, it's time to do something else with it, and why not make art with it? I actually, in my cleaning spree, have discovered that I have 
not only my own stash from, you know, my college days or high school days or whenever when I used to listen to cassette tapes and make cassette tapes. Remember making cassette tapes? Ha! Um, mixed tapes. Anyhow, I discovered a whole bunch of my father's tapes and they come in these, I have like three little suitcases full of cassette tapes from him. Do you guys remember those little suitcases? It's so funny to see them. They're so totally, I don't know, 70s, 80s or something. Um, but that's what I have. I have three suitcases filled with my father's various cassette tapes. Um, some that he's made, some that he's bought. I, I, I don't even know what some of the stuff is on there. I actually didn't even take the time to look through them. Um, I will at some point, but just not now. So all I did was pack them up and um, they're going to go into storage. That's what's going to happen. Because sometimes you can't do... Oops. Oh, no. My needle broke. Oh, that's something new. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to put that to the side. I will not be need using that needle anymore. Let me just thread this piece here. So those of you that are just joining, I am stitching with cassette tapes. Um, why? Why? Because I can. Um, and I just broke a needle. <laughs> um, needles do break occasionally. I guess I've used that one too many times. I stitch through all sorts of things. So um, I guess some things are not meant to be stitched through. But I'm changing the meaning of that. And if I can make my way stitching through anything, I will do my best to stitch through whatever I can. Okay, so I've come to the end of this. I'm just going to smooth this out. I want to make sure it's my piece is still smooth. There we go. So I am not going to make this one too difficult, too busy. I am going to stitch through a few more spots. Oh, this needle is so much sharper. That is so much easier. Yes, the sharper your needle, the easier you're stitching through plastic or anything else for that matter. Yes, I'm going for the big I'm going to see if I can stitch the whole way through. All right, now I'm pulling through. Now watch, my cassette tape is going to rip. Ha! That would be funny, but not funny. Making it through. There it is. Yes, it didn't break. Okay. So, just stitching some on a diagonal, keeping it straight. That's all I'm doing. Very, very simple. I don't know if you've noticed, if you watched, if you haven't been on every live stitching or if you've watched some of the other lives, I, I am keeping it very, very simple because that's the only way I can pull it off right now because life is difficult enough. So if I'm going to do a daily project right now, that project needs to be super duper extra simple. So that's why I'm sticking to running stitches. I'm sticking to just very simply stitching things down. Um, very simple composition. I may go back to it, like I've said. I still haven't. Perhaps when my studio is all cleaned up and in storage or wherever it needs to be, I will finally sit down and add some decorative stitching or just more stitching to these pieces. Um, not making any promises <laughs> oh, because I can't make any promises. Life is too complicated at the moment. Okay, I'm almost at the end here. Just babbling right through. Oh, sharp place, but the, the does sharp needle, but the this piece doesn't want to be stitched right there. That was one one spot, um, and that's something I've noticed around about plastic. Um, some spots are a little bit tougher to stitch than others on all in one same piece of plastic. That is not something that I notice when I'm stitching it on a sewing machine. It seems to go through, go fi just fine throughout the whole thing. But um, when I'm hand stitching, I will sometimes come across a spot that doesn't want to be pierced as easily as the other spot on the same piece of plastic. Go figure, but I figure it must be, ha, 
go figure. And I figure it must be inconsistencies in production. Yeah, that's what I'm going to blame it for. All right, so I'm going to just fill in this corner over here. And then I'm going to be done. Because now I, I have to get back to sor sorting and purg purging my studio. I was in the process of purging all of sorry that's purging sorting all my plastic for upcoming kids workshops my sister-in-law got all excited and asked if i was throwing it out nope i wasn't i was just sorting it for class ha i have quite an extensive stash of plastic but i'm still gonna need it for a little while longer okay i have come to the end here we go the final two stitches okay there it is very simple kind of hairy i'm gonna let those hairy ends stay stay around that's what it looks like that's my stitching for day 10 of earth month stitch along thanks for uh thanks for being here and i'll see you tomorrow bye